made it out here to Pahrump Lakeside Resort. Just getting set up. It's windy. It's not cold, it's nice, but it's windy. And we got Jordy. Really, really cold. It's oh, not cold. Yes, it is. Yeah, there's a swimming pool over there, too. They really let this place go from what I remember. They don't mow. building? A tattoo. Oh. Yes, the wind is still blowing. Mm. This is the check-in. They have facilities all over the park. Nicely kept, very well maintained. Commence swimming, young man. No, or not too swimming. You remember too, huh? Huh? You remember too. They said the water's 78 degrees. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but it was fun. Oh, this. It's really fun? Don't sink, because we're not jumping in after you. Yes, you are. No way. So there's the swimming news. Weather permitting, you can rent these boats. The only fires that you can have are in those fire pits right there. If you want to burn natural wood, they'll let you burn your uh, propane stuff. We have a massive fire pit over here. Doesn't look like it's been used for a while. So, we, we got the skinny, I think. This is now owned by Golden Gaming. It owns a Stratosphere and a bunch of other stuff. So it's corporate now, it's not privately owned anymore like it was with Terribles. And that may be part of the problem with the maintenance, I don't know, but it's still nice. It's just corporate. Really fun, because we have to walk all the way back to a campsite. And was the water cold? Yeah, it's really cold, and then I get too used to it, and I'm still a little cold. I'm cold still. Still a little cold? Even on Goose? No. Goose, goose goose. Goose, goose, goose. How come that one looks different? What? Which one? I know, you're going to go inside in a minute, aren't you? <laughs> no, he's dead. When you're too lazy to cook at camp. We, we go shopping. We're at the same table again. And we're and we're going to eat at the restaurant. That's where we are. The restaurant. Okay. <laughs> I guess for a five-year-old, instant gratification when it comes to fishing is the only answer there. Jordy fished for maybe five minutes. He's done. I think the fishing here kind of sucks anyway. He wants to eat all the bait. And we're having a fun time. No, we're not having any fun at all. Yes, we are. No, it's awful. The only nice weekend that we had was last weekend. <laughs> but we didn't go camping. And we didn't go camping, but we did go to Valley of Fire. Oh, that was nice. We went to Colville Bay. We went to Echo Bay. We, we saw some springs. We some everywhere, every camp. Like, everywhere is the camp. 
Like, do you know, like, there's camps, camper stuff? Yeah. Sorry, so much of it was filmed from the car, but we had a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> and I got pinched. I got. I pinched my. I pinched myself. First thing, you got your finger, finger stuck, stuck in the in screen the door. door. It's going to be shower time, bath time. This one's kind of cute. Let's go look at the campsites around Lake Mead. This is the wash coming out of Lake Las Vegas, heading to Lake Mead. So this is Redstone picnic area. Some amazing rock formations in here, just out in the middle of nowhere. So this is the Colville campsite. Yikes, <laughs> spaces are kind of small and close together. Probably not the best summer destination for sure, no. but it gets hot. Yeah. Water level has come up a bunch. The old restaurant way up there. That's where we were just at. I think the last time we took our boat, we had to go out there. The launch ramp was past that last row of tires out there. There are our restrooms. Okay, now we're at Echo Bay Upper Campground, which is about 20, what was it, 29, no, 37 miles from Colville. What's it called? Roger Springs? Mm -hmm. About, I don't know, a few more miles past Echo Bay. Obviously there's donkeys all over the place. fish in there. Wow. There's a goldfish over there. It's around 80 degrees year round. 80 degrees? Uh -huh. Jump in it. Getting on, on it. Yeah, that's pretty warm. Yeah, it's warm. That's crazy. It's an easy 80 degrees, huh? Yeah. Must come from the center of the earth. For miles and miles and miles, there's these little fences along the road on both sides. Guess what there's, those are for? for miles. I mean, you can step right over them. A cow could step over them. A donkey could step over them. So they were there for, you guessed it, desert tortoise. I can make it back up this hill without crashing. <laughs> <laughs> Arch Rock. Arch Rock.
Campground truck. Campground. Their spaces are a little bigger. Ten dollars a day. Right up ten dollars a day, that's not bad at all. Up against the rocks. What's that spot right there? That's one of them. That's eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, they do have an RV section over here. It does have full hookups. Half of them do and half of them don't. So regardless of which park you're in, there is a dump station right there coming out of the RV park. So in the RV park you have water and power and then your dump station is outside here and trash. So there you go.